What's good, 300 Squad? I hope y'all feeling like God. What I mean by that is I hope y'all manifesting your dreams into reality. Did your boy Big Mike 300 here? And speaking of manifesting dreams into reality, what you see in front of you is some pure manifestation. Um, I told myself that I wanted to get you know into this PC, this PC building like three to four months ago, and I gave myself a time limit. Cause this this stuff is not cheap. It's not cheap whatsoever. And if you're a PC builder, you you know that personally. But I gave myself a time limit. I said, you know, I would get all these parts within a year. You know, by the end of the year, I would build my first PC. And like I said, within three to four months, I have everything I need. So talking about you know manifestation, if you set your mind to something, you can do it. You can, you can definitely do it. So take it from me, you know, if there's anything you want to do, set your mind to it and achieve that, man. But um, like I said, we got some we got some PC parts in front of us, man. Uh, we're gonna be building a PC, man. We're just gonna get straight into it. I don't want to talk your head off too much because uh, this process is gonna take me anywhere between an hour. I say I'm giving myself an hour, maybe an hour, 30 minutes. Uh, but of course, I'm gonna chop it up for y'all. Uh, y'all gonna experience this in, in, in about 10 to 15 minutes. So I hope y'all do enjoy. But uh, yeah, man, this is my first my first PC build. Uh, I am gonna go over the parts as I'm uh, you know assembling them and you know eventually putting them in the case. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. Uh, you know, piece by piece, man. So let's get into it. All right, so the first piece we are going to go over is going to be the motherboard. The motherboard that I went with, the X570, yours master. Did a lot of research on this motherboard. I did a lot of research on all these parts, but this one got, you know, really good reviews for what I'm trying to do. It's not the highest, not the extreme, um, but it's definitely not the lowest either. So definitely the right motherboard for the job, I feel. Pretty much what the motherboard does is it, it holds all components together. So every, everything that you're going to see today is going to be on this motherboard. Without the motherboard, of course, you have nothing in the PC. And this is what the motherboard looks like. I've been studying so many videos. I've been studying this thing so much. Like, I pretty much know what where all these components are. Like, <laughs> it's my first time actually opening my own motherboard. But like I said, I've been watching so many videos. It's like I, I know exactly where everything goes. I, I know exactly what I'm doing pretty much. All right, and my CPU of choice, I went with AMD's Ryzen 5000 series specifically. I went with the 5600X. For what I'm doing, you know, video editing, gaming, this was perfect. Bang for the buck. Cannot go wrong with this one, man. All right, and then this is uh, inside the box. Ryzen 5600X right here. The CPU. Also stands for Central Processing Unit. This is pretty much the brains of the computer, man. This is, this is what uh, makes everything work together. Your uh, operating system, your applications. This is what, you know, makes everything blend together. This also came in a box. You know, this is a, a cooling fan for the CPU. Uh, we're actually not gonna be using this because I purchased my own water cooler. But, you know, if you don't have a, uh, enough money to buy a water cooler, you can use, you know, this uh, the fan that comes with the CPU. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the CPU installed. Now with this part, I have to be very careful. These pins on the back are super delicate. You know, as you can see, I'm holding from the side. I don't wanna touch the bottom. See, I'm holding from the side, but uh, those pins are super delicate. And if you can see that little triangle at the bottom right, I have to line that up. It's a triangle right here on the motherboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. You just wanna drop it in. Like I said, I've watched so many videos where you just wanna drop it in. Uh, you don't wanna apply uh, any pressure, just drop it in. Should just drop in there. Give it a little wiggle, it's in there, and then you just wanna put this little silver thing down, and that's it, CPU is in there. All right, and the next thing we're gonna be installing is the RAM. The RAM is a form of memory. It's not like a SSD or a hard drive, HDD, but it is a form of memory. What this does is anytime you boot up like an application or something, or your computer needs somewhere to put that information temporarily. And the more, you know, RAM you have, depending on what you're doing, the smoother, you know, that application will run depending on, you know, what it's doing. I went with the 32 gigabytes. Uh, that's two, uh, 16, two sticks of 16 GBs. Uh, just for what I'm doing uh, with gaming, anywhere between like eight and 16 is good, but you know, I'm gonna be video editing as well as gaming. So I went with the 32 gigabytes. All right, and this is what the RAM looks like outside of the box. That's where we're gonna be inserting right here. And with the RAM, uh, just depending on what motherboard you have, actually, I think it's like that on all motherboards. 
don't just want to stick the RAM in the first slot. On my motherboard, it says it specifically, it tells me where to put it in first. So we're going to put the first stick of RAM right here in the second slot, and then the second stick of RAM in this fourth slot because they have different channels. To access the memory more efficiently, you're going to put it in two separate channels instead of the same one. Of course, if we get more RAM, we're going to fill up those other slots. Since I only have two, I'm going to put it in this one and then this last one right here. Oh, you got to make sure these uh, little side panels are open as well. This is what's going to clamp in the RAM once I get it in there correctly. And just push it down until you hear it click. There you go. that simple with the RAM. All right, and moving right along on to the internal storage, the storage that is actually gonna go on the motherboard. I went with the Samsung 980 Pro SSD M.2. SSD is pretty much the standard for storage now compared you know, to the older HDD, you know, the hard drive disc. Once again, for my research, these things are crazy, crazy fast. You know, as I said, I went with the one terabyte. You know, you also have your, uh, your SATA, which you can like mount on the actual case itself. Once again, these, you know, the M.2s, is, it mounts directly onto the motherboard itself, which makes the information exchange a lot faster. So that's why, that's why I decided to go with this instead of, you know, like a SATA SSD or even a hard drive. You know, I want the, the fastest speed. All right, and this is what the SSD is looking like outside of the box, man. This is crazy how small this thing is, man. <laughs> it's a thousand gigabytes on here. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said, compared to the, uh, you know, the HDDs, like, look how far we've come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Yeah, this is what it looks like on the, uh, on the outside. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get that thing installed. All right, with this part, you actually have to use a screwdriver, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, unscrew this. Uh, we're gonna insert it here, and then we're gonna place this back on the SSD after we get it installed. Magnetic screwdriver, very useful. <laughs> Very important, very important. With my motherboard at least, you gotta make sure you take this thing off right here. I and mean, I believe I have to take take them off of these as well, even though I'm not installing anything on these. I'm just gonna be safe and I'm gonna take them off. This can, of course, increase heat. So you wanna go ahead and take that off. All right, and then we're gonna be installing it on this end right here. Got to slid in. Now, uh, I believe there's going to be a screw in my actual motherboard case, and I'm going to have to screw back down to the actual motherboard so it sticks. All right, so we found that screw, this little bitty screw, and <laughs> it took me like an extra 10 to 15 minutes just looking for this thing, but I, I found it. It was uh, actually in the motherboard case at the bottom, all the way at the bottom under everything that it came in, this little bitty screw. So uh, we're going to screw this in. As you can see, the SSD is not laying flat. Screw in the screw right here to make sure it lays flat. Once again, magnetic screwdriver works wonders. Put that on that. All right, let me get that screwed in. All right, so I figured out what I was missing, man. I have to screw in this standoff first. I have to screw this in. You know, I have to see how long, because it's uh, three different screw screw places here. I have to figure out how long my SSD is specifically, because there's different sizes for different SSDs, and screw in the standoff first before I attempt to put in the screw. Like I said, man, this is my first time building a PC, so no honest mistake. Was able to figure it out though. Did slow me down a little bit, but let's go ahead and get this uh, installed. We want to go ahead and put that uh, that heat sink back on there. Yeah, 
man, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, man, this is a beginner's guide by a beginner for beginners. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't care, we're going with it. So don't look, you PC master race uh, gurus out there, don't flame me too hard. This is literally, like I said, my first build. I've been doing a lot of research, but this is my first time getting hands on, man. So, man, I, I hope y'all still watching, man. But this is a, once again, beginner's guide for beginners, man. I hope y'all enjoying it so far. But right now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step. So I got everything put on the uh, actual motherboard. We're gonna attach the motherboard to the actual case. All right, and this is the case that I decided to go with. Uh, this is the Land Cool 2 mesh. Uh, it's made by Leanne Lee. Still got the plastic on it. I was waiting for y'all to take this off. Get that fresh peel. Bam. Yeah, this is the case we went with. Three RGB fans in the front. You know, nothing too crazy, but both sides open. It has a glass pan on this side and the other side, you know, for easy access on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stripped down. I'm gonna take out the side panels. I'm gonna take out the front panel just for, for easy access. And then we gonna get that motherboard. Like I said, we're gonna get the motherboard mounted in here. The motherboard is gonna be right here. I'm gonna lay this case on its side just to make the work area a lot easier. Cause it'll be a lot easier from, you know, instead of standing up and trying to screw it in like this, I can just lay it on the side, lay the motherboard in there and screw it in like this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and line up the motherboard with the stand Offs in the actual case. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine standoffs uh, that we're gonna have to screw in the motherboard. And I did already count. There's uh, the exact same amount of holes for the standoffs on the motherboard. You know, for some reason, if my motherboard didn't match up, I would have to take off one of these standoffs because you don't want to leave, you know, one of these pressing up against the motherboard. Because from what I understand, that can cause a shortage because that means your motherboard is not grounded. So I believe my motherboard does match up. We're gonna go ahead and see it right now. All right, I think you got it. it. Took me a little bit longer than, than I would like, but I'm looking at all the standoffs and I can see the holes through the actual motherboard. So yeah, I believe I believe we are good to go. But we're gonna go ahead and get this thing screwed in. When you're doing this, you wanna screw, you don't wanna screw it, you know, all one by one. You wanna kinda screw it, I guess opposites. You wanna screw one up here, then down here, and I'm gonna do down here, and then up here, just so everything's secured. You know, you don't wanna do it this way because everything may not be even that way. I did go ahead and remove, it was hard drive base or slot, whatever you want to call it down here where you can install hard drives. I'm not going to be using hard drives. As I informed you guys, I have a uh, SSD. I mean, if I do need additional space, I'm going to be getting the SATA SSD, which you can install on the back of this uh, of this case. To get the additional space, the SATA uh, SSDs can go right here or I can mount them right here. But I just removed, it was a little case for the HDDs. I removed that, because that's gonna uh, free up some space for some wires and for airflow. So I, I just went ahead and took that out. All right, and now what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and install the power supply. Uh, now this may be a little unorthodox to some people. I seen a video where, you know, at this point, there's not too many uh, big things blocking you on the motherboard. So I can connect what I can connect now. You know, of course, I'm gonna have to connect the power cable to the graphics card. I believe the water pump as well. You know, while I have space, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the power cable to here. Uh, you know, this is what powers the motherboard, that connection right there. I'm gonna connect the power cable that goes to the CPU up there and just get, you know, like the cables and things situated with the actual power supply. The power supply I went with is the Corsair RM1000X, 1000 watt. Now, I know this may be a little overkill for my build, but you know, I'd rather have more power than I need, than you know, have too little and then something messes up. For my bill specifically, I think recommended is like 750. I was informed to get like 850. When I went, <laughs> they didn't have any 850s that I wanted. They had this one. I'd rather have more power than just enough or a little bit more. But anytime you're going for the power, you wanna make sure, make sure it's gold here. 
Anything below gold is like, from what I understand, you don't want to risk it. So anything above gold, you're good to go. All right. Let's make this clear. I'm going to connect the connections to the motherboard, but I'm not powering on the power supply. I'm just connecting the connections. And this came very, very nicely packaged. This is the, you know, the power supply itself. It's all the connections. Of course, you got the power cable. And these are all your connections. All your different pins that you're going to need. All in here, man. Very nicely packaged. Um, I actually have a Corsair uh, keyboard and mouse and all their stuff always comes really nicely packaged, really quality products. So not disappointed with this brand here. All right, change of plans. Said I was going to install the power connections first. What I'm going to install first is actually the case connections. Case connections being the fan, the case, uh, the cables that uh, power the fan, um, and the RGB, as well as the buttons on top of the case. These buttons right here being the power, uh, the two USBs, and these two buttons right here. So there's cables coming down on the other side, coming all the way down, and I just put them down here. So we're going to wire them through right here and connect them to, connect them to the board down here. All right, so this is the only part I was worried about throughout the whole building process is these these little specific connections in the in the actual motherboard. Thankfully, you know you got manuals uh, which are here to help you out. Uh, but these uh, little connections, once again, are coming from the front panel that control the power button, the USB, and, and all things like that. But these specifically, uh, this is the reset switch. This is the power switch, power LED, positive and negative. So I found it in the in the manual where they actually go. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that says uh, power switch, power LED, and it has the negative and positive. So I'm just going to follow this. I don't want to bore you with, you know, y'all watch me actually plug this in because it can be a little complicated. I'm just going to go ahead and get them uh, plugged in now. All right, so I got the cables from the front panel. So the buttons at the top uh, connected to the motherboard, as you can see down here. The big one is the USB. That one down there is the, the power switch, the re reset button, and like the LED light for the, for the power button. Uh, this over here is audio, the one on the left, and then the one right there, that is the RGB. That is the RGB for the fans. Now, um, this process is taking a lot longer than I thought, man. I'm gonna be real with y'all. A lot longer, man. So at this point, I am just gonna uh, speed up. You know, I'm not gonna uh, talk as much over over the video. Um, I definitely want to get this done. Like like I said, I'm, I'm about three hours in. I thought it was gonna take like an hour thirty minutes, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So uh, from here on out, I'm, I'm gonna kind of speed it up so I can go ahead and get this done. Making some progress so now it is now onto the water cooler uh, i went with the kraken x53 as you can see dealing with the cooling options for your for your pc you either have you know like regular fans or you have the aios and from what i've seen aios you know or water coolers uh, cool your system a lot more efficiently so of course i had to go with this So we are almost complete. We've got the uh, power power supply installed. As you can see, got some power cables going up to the computer. I've been working on this so long. My daughter is up. You wanna say something? Yes. Yeah. Power supply installed. As you can see, that's where the uh, power supply or the computer is gonna plug into the outlet. So my cable management back here. Only thing left now is the graphics card to go in. Water cooler. It's a final product. It's not the prettiest, but it works. All right, now finally, 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 it is time to install one of the most important, if not the most important part of the computer, the graphics card. And what I had to do to get this, man, I am ashamed. Psych, I'm not ashamed. I'm determined, okay? I had to wait in line 10 hours to get this thing. 10 hours, okay? I arrived at the store. Bruh. 
you're a PC builder, you know how ready things are. Graphics cards, uh, last generation, even two generations ago, they're almost impossible to find right now. Like I said, I have to wait 10 hours to get this. So this is like, I don't know, I'm excited. Just to, just to pull it out the box, just to install it. I'm super excited. For you console people out there, this thing costs more than the new generation of consoles. That's, that should tell you how much this is worth, how powerful this thing is. It costs more than your Xbox Series X, more than your PS5, this piece alone. So this is the last part of the, of the build. I'm about to go ahead and get this installed. But I do want to show y'all some, some pictures from the night I, I camped out. What is that? What the fuck is that? Did y'all check the photo bomb though? <laughs> I know y'all saw that guy, thought that was pretty funny. But anyways, let's go ahead and, and insert this into the PC. Here she is. RTX 3080. Beautiful. Right, so it is the moment of truth. The graphics card was the last part. Oh my gosh, man. So this is this is it, man. Uh, I spent, what, the last, I don't even wanna tell y'all, but it's like the last four or five hours doing this. I thought it was only gonna take an hour. But we finally got the last piece in, man. We about to see. We about to see if this is gonna work, man. So I'm, I'm gonna plug it up. Well, actually, I'm gonna put the side panel back on, the side panels, um, the front, the front mesh part. We're gonna plug it up, man. We're gonna press that power button, man. So y'all cross y'all fingers, man. We're about to see what's about to see what's happening. Alright, everybody. This is the moment of truth. I'm gonna press this power button. We're gonna wait for something to show on this screen, okay? Man, <laughs> y'all don't know how nervous I am. Alright, are y'all ready? It's my setup. It's not perfect. It's my first build. Here we go. Three. Two, one. Oh, snap. <laughs> it is working. Okay, we got power at least. We have power. The fans are spinning. All fans are spinning. We got some numbers in here. Okay, the water cooler, water cooler is RGB. Graphic card, RGB. My keyboard, lighting up. We got power. We have power, y'all. My lord. Everybody just want to interrupt the video, but we got power, y'all. We got power. This is crazy. Look. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. We have power, y'all. Six hours later. Can I press the key? No. Y'all, y'all do not know how hyped I am, man. I did this by myself, bro. No help. I did this by myself. Look at this. One pillowcase. Look at this. What'd you say, sister? <laughs> one, <laughs> one pillowcase, man. By myself, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh. It is so I apologize, the quality of this video has went way down towards the end. My kids up, everybody up, they making noise, but I'm hyped. So this is the screen. Um, it's showing like everything that's uh, that's installed. As you can see, you can see my RAM. I got two two sticks of uh, 16 gigabytes, like I told y'all. Uh, y'all can see my CPU, Ryzen 5 5600X. Uh, uh, you can see my motherboard, you know, the Aeros Master. Pretty much everything I told y'all is showing on the screen right now. Now the only thing that's not showing correctly is the fans. Um, it's saying one fan uh, is not working for some reason. Um, you know, I got, I have a total of five fans. Right here, it's only show, showing four fans are working. But as you can see, the three in the front spinning, two at the top spinning. Um, you know, the 
It says the, the, the pump is working, so I don't I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand which which one uh, wouldn't be working, but yeah, I'm hyped. I gotta go back and like troubleshoot, man. Like, look, I'm 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 satisfied with what I did. Like, I've literally been up like literally six hours doing this. I've been up six hours doing this, man. And I'm finally done. Finally done, man. All right, 300 squad. And this is officially a time skip, man. And it's actually been about a week since that last clip. Uh, since I got, you know, everything built, the PC came on. As you saw, the, you know, the screen, everything was working. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just coming back, man, just to show y'all my setup. And just to show y'all you know, how uh, my PC is looking and how everything how everything came out. All right, and this is what this is what we looking like, man. This is the this is the official setup, man. As you can see, I went with the you know the red, classic red and black, call it generic. I don't care. Red is my favorite color. I'm saying, got the red, um, and I did make some uh, some changes to the inside of the uh, actual case. I just moved some things around. When I say move some things around, pretty much I just added some uh, cable extensions because the default ones that come with the actual power uh, supply, like they're kind of hard, like they were kind of hard to like fit in between here. So these are like flexible. Uh, it was more like leeway to put it in between to get uh, to the back of the case. Same thing here, these are way more flexible. As you can see, I can turn it before you couldn't even see the RGB on the graphics card. But with these, they're way more flexible out of the way. Also, I got this thing right here, uh, which actually holds up the graphics card. Uh, Y'all can't see it, it's behind the... Yeah, it's literally called up here. Uh, you literally screw it in right here, put it under your graphics card, and it holds up the graphics card. Because with these newer ones, man, they're getting so big, it was sagging down here on this end. It was literally drooping down. So, you know, like I said, it's my first build, but I immediately saw you know, that was a problem. Didn't like how it looked. And I don't know the long-term effects of that. I'm not going to take any chances, but went ahead and got that installed. And you got my man Duke Leto. Duke Leto Atreides for all my Doom fans out there. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But yeah, man, I love it, man. This PC, this decision to buy a PC, build a PC, man, so, so satisfying. Like, it's like almost building like a, a car, man. It just, it just feels so good. Like, when I turned it on, like, just to see it's working, you know, I got everything installed now. You know, I literally had to install Microsoft Windows by myself. Like, had to do everything from the ground up, man. And I, I don't regret it, man. One of the best feelings in the world, turning the PC on, see that it actually works. As I said throughout the video, man, I'm gonna be using this not only for gaming, but for video editing. Cause what I was recording on before, man, look, I'm, I'm just gonna show y'all. What I was recording on before, it's a little HP, a little laptop. You know, non-expensive. This thing was not made for video editing at all, bro. And it got, it got the job done. You know, this is what I, you know, started YouTube on. But this thing, man, look, it got me through some hard times. But literally editing on this is like editing on a, I don't know, a potato. Like, <laughs> when I would try to edit my videos, um, like, I couldn't really see, like, in the, like, there's a section in the, in the video editor. Uh, it's called, like, the preview, where you can see what you're editing. You can play it and watch it live. And I couldn't even watch that to edit my videos. I literally had to edit my videos based off the sound. I would train myself. You know, I would go bring up the video, right? I would watch it first, bring it to the video editor, and I would I would listen for sound cues. That's how I would know when to stop it, when to cut. Like, I couldn't watch things live and edit it, stop it like that. So, it was, <laughs> it was a struggle, but, you know, I appreciate this thing. You know, just like I said, it showed me that, you know, YouTube is a passion for me. Uh, so I, I, you know, I think I'm thankful for what it was, but you know, with this thing right here, like, it's just a totally different story. Totally different story. The last thing here, man, I, I just want to show y'all like the like the night vibe of it, you know, with all the, with all the colors and everything like that. Just to show y'all, you know, the vibes, you know, when it's nighttime and things like that, just how how it's looking. As you can see, it looks 20 times better at night, especially with that mouse and keyboard. Like I said this is Corsair's uh, RGB uh, Dark Core Pro SE. And this is the K100 RGB. Really love this keyboard, as you can see. You can set different like light lighting modes. Uh, for me, you know, I got these. Uh, these are the main keys you use like when when you're gaming and stuff. So I went ahead and lit these up, just so you know I can get used to the to the uh, to the layout. Still getting used to gaming on keyboard and mouse, but this keyboard is making it a lot easier. But yeah, as you can see, man, the vibes, man. Vibes got the red. Yeah. It's looking nice. That's pretty much uh, all I wanted to show y'all, man. Um, and just to tell y'all, man, if, you, if you're thinking about, you know, getting into the PC, the PC life, man, I say do it. Um, you know, you can definitely go pre-built, but if you want to go, you know, the build-it-yourself route, just know you got to do some studying, man. 
uh, watch, you know, watch a lot of videos, you know, do your own research on the, on the parts you want to buy because you can spend a lot more money than you need to. Um, I did it, you know, like I said, I, I, I did so much research. I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew exactly how much I was going to spend. But if you're going to get into the building, just just do your research, man. Don't spend too much money if you don't have to, man. But um, that's that's pretty much it for this video, man. I, I love my decision to build a PC once again. If you're thinking about doing it, just, just go ahead. Go ahead and do it, man. But I do hope you all enjoyed this video, man. Once again, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will catch you on the next video, 300 Squad. Peace.